I'm so glad you could join me today. I've been wanting to talk to you about something. I've been fascinated with the... Oh, come here. I've been fascinated with the... Circle. I just can't get enough of this thing. I've been studying all about its history, when it was discovered, blah, blah, blah. But the craziest part is how to measure a circle. Over 2,000 years ago, somebody else was fascinated by the circle as well. His name was Archimedes. Today, he is known as one of the greatest mathematicians of his time. But back then, he was determined to find out how to measure a circle. He used the Pythagorean theorem to find the areas of two polygons polygon inscribed within the circle and the polygon within which the circle was circumscribed. The actual area of the circle is between the areas of those two polygons. Huh? Sounds pretty easy, right? What he discovered was pi, not pi. Pi! pi. The symbol you see is actually the Greek letter pi. Not P-I-E, as in the kind of pie you eat, but P-I, pi. It's named this after the Greek word for perimeter, but we'll talk about this later. The value of pi is close to 3.14159265358979322, and on and on and on these numbers will go. Since its discovery, pi has actually been calculated containing more than one billion digits. Oh. But for our purposes, we only need to be concerned with the number 3.14. That's a whole lot of numbers if you ask me. So what is pi and how do we use it to measure circles? The value of 3.14 is a constant. That means that with every single circle, the ratio of the diameters to the circumference will always be the same. Woohoo! Let's use this can to illustrate the point. Okay. On the bottom of the can, I've drawn a red line to represent the diameter. The blue diamond is our marker. I'll set the can beginning on zero. When I roll the can one full rotation, you'll see that it surpasses the three and lands on 3.14. This works with every single circle. With this knowledge, we can now measure a basketball, Ferris wheel, bike tire, sun, moon, and our own planet Earth. Unbelievable! Can't you see why I've been so fascinated with this stuff? Yes, indeed. Now let's learn how to use pi to find the circumference of a circle. Okay. Before we go any further, let's just take a second to remember some important terms. The diameter of the circle is a straight line passing through the center of the circle, which has two endpoints connecting on the rim of the circle. The circumference of a circle is basically the perimeter. In order to use pi to find the circumference of a circle, we need a formula. This formula is c equals pi times d. The c stands for circumference and the d stands for diameter. We also need to replace the sum of the pi with its value of 3.14. Now we're ready to use the formula. So what is the circumference of a circle with a diameter of 6 inches? Using our formula to find circumference, we'll replace the D, which stands for diameter, with 6. Then we'll replace our symbol of pi with its value of 3.14. When we do the math and multiply them together, our answer is 18.84 inches. What if you're given a circle that only tells you the radius and not the diameter? Well, we have a formula we need to use in order to find the diameter first. The diameter is just 2 times the radius. So if the radius is 2, you replace the r with the number 2 and multiply it by 2. The answer is a diameter of 4. Now we're ready to use our formula to find the circumference. Replace the d with 4 since that is the diameter of the circle. Replace the symbol for pi with 3.14 and multiply them together. The answer is a circumference of 9.32. Oh! So as you can see, pi is incredibly important. Without it, we wouldn't know how to find the circumference of a circle or the area. I love pi and pi. I wouldn't mind having a little more of both in my life. 
Thanks for learning about Pi with me today.